So, we have scouted the entire region. Now, the focal point is, honestly, gold. Just gold, because we haven't gotten all the upgrades. So, for here... Let's, let's ramp this up a little bit. Hey, look, you're all gonna get your little wish. I'm faster now. So, this is definitely another cleanup job. The ultimate anti-zombie tool, a rocket launcher. I mean, the strategic elements in uh, Decision 2 are also more complex because you also have this mechanic where areas that you haven't cleared can have zombies migrate into areas that you have, and you have to, to repel that assault. And that forces you to spend some of your time defending the zones you've already captured, even if you've already reinforced them to the extent that they no longer, like, generate passive threat. Yeah, like I said, this game's a bit true. I just want to start at the beginning. I would love to have just gone straight to two, but I'm sure somebody would be like, well, what about one? What was that all about? It was basically this, only less, and not quite as good. I could have summed it up that way, but no, you know, Pixar didn't happen. Nobody has any imagination anymore. I have just turned this entire area into chunky salsa. Everything gleams if there's a yeah, that first zone. Here's the thing with why I basically abandoned the first zone, because it's got no factory, it's got no value. You start there, but there's almost no incentive to actually defend it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snag ourselves a tower. Because we need to get the basic defenses up before we start, like, really focusing on the factories.
honestly hate that it does that. It just draws you in when you reticle over it. Additional 15 zombies to give the area a little once over. Now, speaking of Cyberpunk 2077, oh, I understand that the technical issues were a big problem, and the fact that the company all but lied about the sort of quality of the product and its level of completion was a really big no no. But honestly, I mean, in terms of the RPG elements, you get more out of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas than you do Cyberpunk 2077. Like, the ability to dynamically alter your appearance in-game, that's not in Cyberpunk. Um, like control zones in the city, areas where you can sort of build up a reputation, that's not in Cyberpunk. Oh, boy. Today, I saw the old forger. It's good that the zombies can't use that against me. Rage. Um, what are we missing? More barrels? More jibbing? Definitely need a lot of health for that one. Magnate, upgrade a factory to level 3. Kill zombies with a rocket tower. Kill zombies with a cannon tower. The rocket tower is honestly the hardest because of that abysmal rate of fire. So, we got a tower there. Area 1 is in need of some serious attention. I say we give it to them. We got boys. Ooh. That's a mission fail. And I bumped my mic. I'm sorry if that just like was a drum on all of your ears. Seems like most of the zombie forces were just spent in that first wave. So we got a little bit of danger growth in 
the central areas. Last upgrade on this one. That's going to be worth a big chunk of cheddar. Now, theoretically, if we can knock the danger level down to zero, we'll have that area cleared. And we're back. I mean, I'm back. For you, the experience is probably going to be more contiguous. Not that anybody besides me cares for the minor details. So we need gold. And we've got three locations that we've scouted, and we haven't secured the factory. But I'm going to focus on getting a tower up and running over there first. Uh, we're still also trying to keep an eye out for our missing soldiers. There's still two we have to locate. Oh, well, that wasn't far removed from the start. This shotgun's definitely beefier. Pretty expansive underneath area for generator mission. Wow, three shots and it just like V diverts around the actual target. not to mouse over the Jenny, or else it's just going to automatically start moving me towards it. Okay, area clear, and no sign of any goodies. I thought the area was clear anyway.
That was an extremely quick job. It seems I caught a cold. I don't like how this middle sector is looking. That's a very high danger level. Okay, I say we do some tower upgrades there just to prevent... We're gonna go with cannon. Just to prevent this area slipping away from us completely. Oh, that's a very high threat level to start. Stuck on the level limit. That was kind of bullshit. I was either stuck on the level limit or I got body blocked. Either way, that was bullshit. That's what I mean. The threat level has gotten so high that we have a vast majority of the zombies now with guns. Definitely appear that my health needs a bit of work. Have that hilariously easy tower capture before, and now this tower modification that's taking. I mean, I keep getting the generator, I get the tower modified, and then I end up dying, because it's just a bunch of gun toting zombies that can stun lock me from range. Military zombies are so tanky. They a rocket in their face and they just shake it off and laugh at you. Upgrade. Maybe it's time for a weapon upgrade. Finally, bust out that minigun. This time. 